Yeah, hi to everyone. My name is Serge and I would like to talk today about the uh, mess in the admin area of uh, WordPress. So here, what, what do we have here? Like, uh, right now I'm on a customer client, uh, on a client site uh, in the dashboard, a uh, high anchor. Uh, it's happyhangaround. Uh, Dot com. It's a really good website and uh, with uh, some recipes, some stuff. So the first, the most important feature of WordPress for a regular publisher is this one: screen options. Like here, you may clean your desk work. Like um, I've got a sidebar here uh, with some stuff open. I've got all those meta boxes uh, open, all that stuff. So we're gonna go and clean all everything here. So first, uh, on the sidebar, I close everything I don't need because actually you have too much links here and you're uh, fast uh, lost uh, somewhere. Then you go to your screen options in the main area here on the dashboard. I do prefer to have just one column like this. Then I just disable everything I don't need, like uh, incoming links, plugins, uh, then quick press, recent drafts, uh, WordPress blog, uh, other other stuff. Then I just close the screen options here. Then I close the meta boxes I don't need. So I have a quick load of my dashboard and uh, I just can open everything I need here, like this. Then, uh, when you go, for example, for edit post or red new post, here, just look all this stuff you have. Sometimes it, it is just messy. So, you go same screen options uh, for the posts. Uh, I do prefer to have two columns with uh, useful stuff here. Then I just disable like uh, JavaScript of Tesis. I don't use it. I don't use multimedia box options. Then I do not use accents uh, like custom fields. Sometimes discussion is uh, important for the book. Uh, then this slug maybe author if I'm the only author I do disable it here you go then I close the boxes I don't need like that I close this stuff this stuff and here you go uh, slug actually I don't need it either here you go you got a cleaner dashboard to uh, enter your content. Then uh, this one is for Anka about the videos. Uh, when you go to add new video here, uh, this actually is provided by a plugin I made for her. Uh, you open here, you just make sure you have the uh, uh, video integration box uh, checked. Then you just uh, disable the stuff you do not need. Uh, that's it, I think. Here you go. You close the boxes you do not use. Close the stuff here. And here you go. You've got your video integration. You've got the additional information about the video here. And you may integrate a video from YouTube. And you you don't need actually access custom fields and neither. And you've got discussions here. So how do, how do you post a video? I will make another video for you to explain that. So see you next video.